Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your pal Impossible. I'm here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, schematics video on how to make a, uh, uh, a touch display, uh, essentially. And uh, let me see here. I, uh, I already did this once, and I actually made Pong, as you can see right here. I'm playing Pong and Mindustry. Unfortunately, the recording uh, kind of cut off in the middle of recording, and I didn't realize. And uh, that was a lot of time and effort spent that I'll never see any uh, use out of, and I'm kind of depressed, and I don't want to have to do it all again. Uh, so I'm going to have the schematic, this schematic, if you guys want to see it. But this is not going to be the focus of this episode. This episode is now going to be a regular touchscreen. I'm going to put this off the screen for now. I don't want to look at it. It's depressing. Let's start working on another one. Uh, let's start off by first making a, uh, let's make a button that we want to press. How about that? That'll be something that'll make me less depressed at the moment. Uh, let me see here. All I had here was a, set, a simple uh, clear display set here going. Uh, let's go ahead and go to a draw. And I guess I'm going to put it up here. And we're going to draw. This will be probably a circular button because that'll be simpler. A poly. Say, I don't care how many sides it has. 12. It's going to be at position 88 and 88 and radius of I don't know 30 that'll be a big old button let's see what it looks like all right we got a big old button here let's go ahead and uh, let's change the color it I want to have a colorful button darn it so let's go ahead and draw uh, another draw command here this is going to be not a clear this is going to be a draw color and the color, what color should this be? Right now, it is going to be black, and I don't want that. What color is our color? Maybe it should be red. Maybe it'll be 255 red, and the rest of these will be zero. That sounds good. Let's draw a red circle. There we go. So we have a red circle here. And uh, maybe if we press it, we want it to go green. That sounds like a thing we should do. So uh, let's start going by uh, getting ourselves a reference to our player person here. So we're going to want to bring up a radar here. Not a get link. I want a radar game. We're doing the radar thing. All right, this is going to be from at this, which is going to be the processor itself. Uh, a target is going to be player. And we're going to have the output uh, be named player as well. So that we're putting the uh, player unit within the player variable. And uh, let me see here. From the player, we're going to want to get... Uh, there's shoot X and shoot Y. So let's go ahead and go to sensor here. Go over here. Oop, a little too far up. There we go. Uh, player X equals shoot X in uh, player. I think it's just shoot X. I'd have, I'd have to check to be, you know, 100% sure, but I think it's. Uh, with a capital X and Y, I could be wrong. All right, so this is going to be the coordinates for where our player's cursor is. And we're also going to know if they're pressing down the button or not, because that's kind of important. So we're going to call this button press, or it could be, you know, whether you're pressing down on the screen, whatever you want to call it. And I think this is sh a shooting. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's shooting. There we go. And this is going to be shooting in player. So basically, uh, what I'd like to do is draw where the player's cursor is, and if you're hitting the button, if the button is pressed, then you do something. In this case, it's going to be hitting that button. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I, I should probably save some things as uh, a variables for us later. So right now, I'm going to put it a uh, at a constant here. We're going to set a variable to button radius because I'm going to need to know this later to, uh, to know if we're in the range of that button or not. And I'm going to set this to 30, which is what I have down here. And I'm going to go ahead and just reference this right here. There we go. Now that's going to update appropriately if we want to change things. And uh, we should... Do I want to put the button position? I don't, I don't know how much I care about that at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and get a... Uh, I guess we're going to need some more sensor information, aren't we? All right, let's go over here. Do some more sensor. This one's going to be display one. Uh, well, this is going to be display X. And this is going to be at X for uh, the display. We can call this by name display one because we have it connected. And we're going to want the same thing for Y. 
and display one. And we're also going to need the offset, which is going to be 88. Uh, basically, we want to know where the middle of the screen is. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and that sensor, we're going to want, basically, we're going to want to set another variable here. This will be display offset. And this will be 88. There we go. Uh, we should also set a scale variable, but that's going to be in operation. Let's go over here. And uh, basically, we need to scale things down so the uh, pixels and the uh, mouse position and all these things interact the way we want. So we're going to call it uh, display scale. And basically, it's just the size of the uh, display divided by the number of blocks it's going to be taking up here. So it is going to be 176, which is a pixel size of the display, divided by 6, because there's a 6 tiles that it takes up. And that'll be the uh, display scale there. And uh, we should probably, I don't know, get relative positions and stuff. That seems like a thing to get. So uh, let me see. Let's go down. Yeah, down here. This is where our actual positions we get are. So let's go ahead and do an operation. Relative position. I'm going to call this uh, relative X or rel X. Is going to be uh, player X minus display X. And we're going to want to do the same thing for Y. Be right here, Y and Y. And we're also going to want to add the offset to this so things line up the way that we want. Uh, after after we scale it. Let's go ahead and scale it first real quick. Uh, rel Y. I, I think I'll just leave it as it is and just do rel Y times scale. Times uh, display scale, I think we named it. And we want to do the same exact thing for the X. So rel X equals rel X times display scale. And uh, now we're just going to add the offset onto that. So rel x equals rel x plus display offset. And let's go ahead and do the same exact thing for rel y. And let's go ahead and draw something on that, uh, on that area. Let's go ahead and bring our clear all the way up here as well. Yeah, clear, you can be up there. There you go. And uh, let me see here. We're going to want to, I guess we should change colors, whether, man, eh, whatever. I'll worry about that later. Uh, let's go ahead and just draw something where the, uh, where our mouse is and comparatively on the screen. So let's go to draw command here. We're going to put this on rel, uh, over here. Where am I looking for? Here. We're going to draw probably poly. Probably easier. Probably is a good rel x rel y sides. We'll have a 20 sided poly and uh, radius. Maybe we'll do like 10. So it's a smaller, you know, it's just a mouse cursor. Maybe we put five. And uh, let's go ahead and see how that looks. It looks. I don't know if you noticed or not, but it looks like to me that it's not working. Let's get rid of those uh, message boxes. We don't need those right now. Uh, we also don't need that memory cell. All right, so let's see if I can figure out what it is that I screwed up. All right, I'm back. I figured out my bug. And what do you know? We have a little mouse on the screen, that little ball that follows us around wherever our thing goes. So uh, basically all I did for that, well, let me see here. I had a misspelling. I was calling... Uh, all these relative things, uh, Rally X and Rally Y and stuff like that. All sorts of silly things along those lines. I was also trying to draw in black on black with my mouse, which didn't work. Surprising enough. All right. So basically we have, we have the basic functionality here. Uh, now we've got to figure out, are we pressing the button? Uh, which we know will only matter if the button is pressed. If the button is not pressed here in the act shooting, uh, then it doesn't matter what's going on. So let's go ahead over here, and we're going to say, before we do any of this drawing stuff, uh, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll do it here, over here, because we're going to want to know what color we're going to draw stuff. 
So we're going to say, say if uh, button pressed, not true, uh, then this is going to be the color right here. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to figure out, all right, are we close enough to even touch this thing? Let's find out. So let's go over here. We're going to do some operations here. We're going to have to call xdiff. And this is going to be the difference between our relative x uh, position and the button's x position. Right here, the button's x position is 88. We're just going to go off of that. If we're being ultra clean about things, we probably would have declared that somewhere. But I don't feel like it right now. So we're going to go rel x minus 88. X diff is going to have to be abs, the X diff. That way we're not negative. Uh, normally, I would worry about that. But this time, we're going to be squaring it. So we square it. It's going to be positive anyway. So we're going to call this X diff times X diff. There we go. Now we have to get the Y distance. It's going to be like almost exactly. Well, it's going to be exactly the same thing, but with Ys instead of X. So you go y equals a relative y minus 88. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing here, except this is going to be a y diff times a y diff now. There we go. Now the real difference is going to be the square root of those two things. So let's go to call it diff total or something like that. Equals x diff plus y diff. I guess we can call it y diff plus x diff. And now we have to take the square root of this to get the actual distance our mouse cursor is from the uh, from the button, from the button's radius. So we're going to call this dist will be uh, diff total. Uh, where's the square root button? Discrete. Why does I not see it? Skirt. There we go. So this is the skirt, or square root, of a diff total. So now we have the distance, how far away it is, and we know that we are pressing the button. So at this point, we probably want to say, okay, what's the color here? And we're going to have to say the color. Well, first, let's, let's actually do a distance check. I should probably do that first, huh? Yeah, let's go here. And we say, if dist is less than a uh, button radius. I think we have it declared up here. Yeah, button radius. Well, if that's the truth, let's just say greatest for right now. If it's greater than that, we just go here. We have nothing to worry about. Otherwise, if we are actually pressing it, we have to change the color of things. We're gonna go with a different color. So if we're actually pressing it, we're gonna change the color to, let's change it to green. It's going to be green. Everything is all well and good in the world and everything is happy. And, uh, you know, if we change the color to green, that's because, uh, well, we're, we're pressing the thing. Let's go ahead and throw this as an always. I want to skip over this thing here. So basically, if we're not pressing the button or we're not within the button radius, we're just drawing things as normal. Otherwise, it should be changed to green. Whoops. Or uh, <laughs> this here, I'd be changing the... Uh, yeah, this here I'd be changing the mouse button green, and that's not what I'm going for. Where's the drawing of the other thing? This thing needs to be brought down here. Let's bring this stuff down here. Mistakes were made, and that's okay. We can get things fixed up. Let's change this over here. So we're going to basically, I want to draw the poly before we draw the mouse and all that kind of stuff, essentially. And I'm going to have to do some, I'm going to have to do some fixing here because things look funky. And I have things all around where they should not be. And that's okay. We can get it all figured out. Let me get rid of these ifs. Or jumps, but I'm using them as ifs, essentially. And there we go. So let me see if I can get these all figured out properly. Uh, basically, I want the color. We're going to clear regardless. That's going to be there. I could have the clear all the way up here if I don't already. Okay, let's bring the clear up there so we know it is out of the way. Clear, we're going to clear before we draw anything uh, because, you know, we want to clear away the last screen and only have things that we want here fresh. 
All right, so now the color is green. If that's otherwise, the color is going to have to be something else. Let's set the color here. There we go. So if this is greater, greater than radius button, well, we know the color is going to be red like it was before. Uh, otherwise, the color is going to be green. And then we jump here. There we go. And uh, if this is greater than button radius, what's going all the way down here? If button not pressed is true, okay, you're going to have to go down to this one here. Button press not, is not true. Well, we're just going to draw the button red like it always is. And I think this will work. Let's find out. Do we see our mouse? We see our mouse. I'm pressing the button. Nothing happens. Oh, I'm pressing my mouse button. If I go over here and press the button, it turns green. I let go. It turns off. And if I scroll over it, woo, woo. It's got a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, you know, give than it should. <laughs> Probably because of weird mouse position stuff. But uh, it works. We're over it. It's on. We're off it. It's off. There we go. So uh, this has been another schematics tutorial code along session with Impossible. Uh, you know, we do a lot of this silly stuff on here. If you end up learning uh, how to do Mindustry coding, this is not a bad channel for that kind of stuff. Uh, this game is Mindustry. If you guys are interested, I have a link down in the description. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, you should totally hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know how to put out new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.